Um, I mean, what a match. Um, this team um, fought, obviously, from the beginning in some really tough situations, and they did everything we asked them to do. Um, you know, we talked about getting better as the match went on. I felt like we did that. Um, we talked about flying around the court defensively. I felt like we did that. Um, talked about serving aggressively. Again, um, another box check there. Um, and we talked about playing to win. And I, I felt like... I felt like towards the end, I mean, we would think it was 10-10 there in the fifth set, um, and we were right there. We had an opportunity, um, just missed on a couple of swings. Um, but I don't think those swings came from being tentative. Um, they came from taking risks, and um, the risks didn't fully pay off there at the end. But, um, I mean, this, uh, this group, um, the three sitting in front of me, and then obviously the, the rest in the locker room have absolutely worked to elevate this program, and this was a, a big step for us. And, even though we didn't come out on the winning end, um, you know, mm -hmm. the first time we've won sets in the NCAA tournament as a program, and um, you know, just really proud of how they handled themselves, uh, not only in the big moment, um, but obviously through adversity and um, through some pretty uh, difficult times. Obviously, mid-match, and you just saw the the passion and the um, again the. I mean, their love for the game, but I think just how much they binded, bound together there um, showed. And again, as a coach, can't be, um, I couldn't be more proud of them. Um, yeah, um, she's getting some imaging right now. Um, obviously, clearly hurt um, there, but she'll, she'll be okay. It's just a matter of waiting for some of the answers um, for her. Um, but that, uh, that was, uh, it was difficult. I mean, I know obviously she was, she was struggling in that moment. I know our team was struggling in that moment. But, um, you know, the best, I mean, the, the number one thing is she's okay. You know, it's just waiting on some of the answers of what the road looks like for her here moving forward. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I said at that moment. Um, you know, I think we, we really talked about the fact that, like, you, you can't take away the pain in that moment. You can't take away the, the hurt. And, um, you know, again, you can, you can see the emotion in, in every single one of them. But um, we just talked about, um, again, controlling what we can, you know, playing for each other as we have all season and in some ways playing a little bit harder. Not harder, but playing for her. Um, and I felt like you kind of saw the tide change there um, in those first couple points. And um, it, was, it was pretty remarkable to see how this team worked through that. But we just really <laughs> kept focusing on us and controlling what we could. Yeah, I think um, after that first point out, we knew that we had a fight and we wanted to do it for her. And I think that that really drove us and it. We played with our hearts. So I think that's all we could have done in the moment. Is there anything anybody on the team said to each other just to sort of keep that going? I mean, I think it was just to play for her. And also, um, we couldn't let that dictate the rest of the game. I mean, we had a bunch of other girls who came in and played amazing, and we had to rely on that as well. And that um, we just couldn't let that bring us down. And I think that's exactly what we did: was we didn't let the tides turn or anything like that. We kept pushing, and it showed that we went to five. So. Sorry, can you repeat what, what the question? Yeah, I mean, winning those two sets meant the world to me as a senior, and us never accomplishing that until this year meant a lot. We've had some experience in the NCAA tournament, but um, this year was definitely memorable, and I think it just shows how much each year we're progressing as a program and how we'll just keep progressing and getting better and better and better, and it, it just makes me really proud of USD as a whole, and I'm really excited to see where we get to go in the future. So. I think it was just a super cool moment, like us both coming together, like they obviously knew that it was a hard situation and just the support that they had for us and with us throughout it was super cool to see. And then uh, Coach, just, just how much are these games scheme versus approach? <coughs> because like you, you might have a game plan, but the emotions take 
I mean, it's a delicate balance. Um, you know, I think tonight was probably a little bit more emotion than, than scheme, at least in the, the middle of the match um, for us. But, uh, you know, I've, I felt like in a lot of ways we kind of thought we knew what they were going to try to do um, against us. And in some ways we were right. And in some ways they were able to take advantage of it. And um, in some ways we actually defended at a, at a higher level, I think, just being aware. But, um, you know, they're a good team. Um, they they play the game well. Um, you know, I think you look across the board, I wouldn't say they have a major weakness, you know. So um, for us it was – um, really trying to control what we could. And I think you saw early on a struggle in some of those moments, you know, a few too many overpasses, um, just some of those kind of chaotic plays that we're usually really good at, um, put ourselves into chaos on the back end or they were scoring. So um, we got better at that as the match went on. Um, and I think some of it was just as the nerves went away, you know, get into the moment, you, you feel the, um, I think just the, 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 the actual ma like the match kind of settled down a little bit, and you, you saw the passion come out. Um, but like I said, I thought they did a good job of handling <laughs> some of the schemes that we wanted to do, um, and in some ways it worked, and sometimes it didn't. But that's the nature of the game. Yeah, I mean, because we were down there at, in that set. Um, so I think for – I think she absolutely did step up there and I think took a little bit more on her shoulders. Um, and we even told Maddie at one point in time, like, get her the ball. I mean, she's, there's times she just gets this look in her eyes. <laughs> you, need to, you need to get her um, those opportunities. But um, I do think we had already kind of felt like that momentum had shifted a little bit. And, um, you know, when she did get hurt, I think it was, you know, kind of – feeding off of that. I think we felt very confident in that moment. And obviously, I can't speak for them. But, um, you know, again, that this team um, has shown what confidence looks like, you know. And I think even coming into this situation when we are the underdog, um, I felt like they did a really good job of handling that. Um, I thought I think that we just had so much heart and we had drive. Um, I don't think we felt like the underdogs. Um, it was really important that we went into that game believing in ourselves. And I think even when we were down a few points, we believed that we could do it and that like nothing is out of our reach. And I think we played like that. Um, I mean, just having to defend three attackers across the front row in every rotation um, can be challenging. But I, I felt in some ways we did a really good job um, of, I mean, slowing down areas of that, you know, as the match went on. You know, Junkie had a couple really good blocks. Kylan had a, um, a couple as well. And I think when that happened, you started to, again, the confidence grew on our side and maybe you saw them pressing a little bit. But, um, again, Credit to them. They played a really good match and, and found ways to exploit us in, in some different situations. But, um, you know, overall, um, I, I think they're a good team. You know, I think they, they have an opportunity to keep moving forward. And, um, you know, I think we just we feel very lucky to have been in this position. And this will give us a lot more. There might be a little bit of extra motivation here moving forward of we are this close. Now, what what do we what do we have to do? What are those changes we have to make to take that next step? I mean, the people sitting next to me are the ones who have who have put in the work and have really um, raised the level, you know, of the program. And um, you know, obviously Lolo and Amy um, being seniors and and this being their last match, um, they have done everything we have asked them to do, and they have done it the right way. Uh, and that's something that um, goes a really long way. You know, I think you could see it within our our team just the. Um, they were always on the same page, you know, and when they weren't, they had those quick conversations, there was the accountability, and they moved forward, and that's a big testament to the people that, again, are sitting next to me and the people in the locker room. So um, this is a step for us. You know, this is something that I think we needed to, we needed to feel it. We needed to, um, to know what that looked like for us and the fact that we could do it, you know, and as much as, again, I think we all felt like we could have success today. I think we all felt like we could win this match, um, but until you fully see yourself having that success, um, 
it's hard, you know, and I, I do think that once they got that first set, uh, you could just see the little bit of like, okay, we, we are like, we belong here. This is where we're supposed to be. Um, and you just saw them fight from there on out. Yeah, um, I think we talked about it a little bit in the locker room, but we're really proud of ourselves and we're proud of our fight. And it, we still made history by winning sets in the NCAA tournament. And I think that's something that's just going to drive us. And we're going to come in next year and work even harder and have even more passion because we know it's something we can't accomplish. And we had that little taste of being that close. So I think that we can appreciate how well we played, but also let it drive us to move forward. Um, USD is a very special place to me. It's been like a second home these past five years. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better team and better coaches to be revolved around every single day for this long period of time. Um, it's definitely going to be a big transition, not playing volleyball anymore, but I couldn't have asked for a better way for it to end. I'm so proud of our team, and even though we didn't come out with the win, um, we pushed them to five, and I think that's all we could have asked for. And with everything that had happened during those games, I think showing how much adversity we had going on and how much we still pushed shows how close of a team we are and how hard we can fight. And so I'm just really proud of the program as a whole. I'll miss it. That's it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.